flesh there. And uh, Boxy, how did it feel to be that farmed on a pose for like, were you a little bit confused what to do with all that money? <laughs> The money is uh, money is not the issue. The, the <laughs> I feel like sometimes I was maybe farming too much, and uh, my team is dying. And I just look at it and I'm like, eh, I shouldn't have been there anyway. <laughs> so it's fine. But uh, no, I think spending the money is no problem. Maybe helping my team uh, okay. could have been done a little more. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you guys still get the, the dub. I also wanted to ask a question, um, you know, because you guys aren't boot camping, I'm not really sure what's going on with Blitz uh, for you guys, but how is that going? How is he uh, having input in the draft and everything going around, doing it remotely? Okay, so 99% of the time, you know, William is there and he's, he's showing up mm -hmm. and he's putting his, his effort in and he's uh, bringing a positive um, feeling. I think now he was, uh, he barely had any connection on like a car on his way to like some party beach or something. Uh, I'm not sure where he's going. I don't think he knew, but it was like this, someone calls you from a car and there are like conversations in the background that you can hear clearer than the person you're talking to. That was kind of the, the William vibe for this specific uh, series only. Other than that, 99% of the time. He was time, calling from the know, car. Great. Uh, his input was still good, you know. Total knowledge in check, but uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, all right. Well, turns out you can uh, draft a winning draft even on the way to a bit of a party beach in a car full of people. Uh, Lizzie, do you have any questions? Was it, what, what, was it a party bus, like one of those big hummers that he was in, or just a car? Yeah, how busy was it? I don't know. They're just uh, they're driving <laughs> to some party place. I don't know what they're doing. It's like, I can't ask. I don't know. I don't even know where he is. He's like, I'm coming home on Monday, and I'm like, okay, great, great. I didn't even know you weren't home. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. do, are you are you jealous a little bit, maybe? Or no, are you just it. happy I to mean, be playing? I think, yeah. I think uh, it, it's fun to win, obviously, and I think we're very lucky to to win, even though we're taking a little bit of a um, easier time in Dora. I'm sure some of my teammates maybe are taking more time off than I am because I've still been pubbing and stuff a little bit but you know each to their own and our expectation was just kind of to try as well with we try and do as well as we can when we play the games and maybe don't practice too much between them and I think it kind of shows that you know in both of these games our leaning stages especially <coughs> especially Sai <coughs> no I'm just kidding but uh, yeah. yeah we I mean it, it's it's a little shaker uh, some parts of the game, but the Dota knowledge is still there, so we managed to, to bring it back. Um, yeah. So, uh, is that not, that wasn't the part of the plan, Zai dying so much and you taking over, that was, it's just I mean, happened. it's just, uh, what happens, happens. I feel like uh, it's a hard lane to play, play a Winter Wyvern, because Doom doesn't really help mm -hmm. out that much. Um, but I mean, I think I guess my point is, I think we play very, very well as a team, and people are smart. And so I made a lot of great decisions, like coming up and cursing the Enigma to the Monkey King and stuff. You know, I think that's a really good call. But maybe our our mechanical uh, prowess is a little bit lacking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I do want to quickly jump in. I want to ask a follow-up question to that. You know, like we've seen Zai with the Ogre offlane as well, Spirit Breaker offlane, not really as uh, new or unique, but I want to know, how does it feel supporting something like that? And how does the conversation go about with Zai when he brings out these ideas? Like what's going through your mind? Are you fine with it? Do you guys think that you could lane with literally any heroes together? Usually there's, you know, a reason for picking these heroes. Sometimes it's just you want to have a bit, bit of fun. Uh, play something different, but I can still always see where it's coming from. I think Wyvern was maybe suggested by somebody else as well. Um, you know, laning with Spirit Breaker is something we've done like a multitude of times. Um, Ogre is mm. maybe not my favorite hero to play with because he doesn't literally doesn't have any mana or like I don't know. You buy <laughs> Vanguard and you just both people just stare at each other in the lane, kind of. But uh, no, I don't have an issue with it. I think it's always fun to play some new stuff, not play like the same lane over and over and over again and buy the same items and you know he I think he also excels when he is playing mm. some wacky shit because then he's a little bit extra motivated to 
to prove himself. You know, when he it's like eleventh yeah. game of Cry, Crimson Pipe Underlord, I think like he he wants to you know leave the game. But when he's playing, <laughs> I don't know what he's playing. When he's playing Winter Wyvern, I'm sure he wants to do well. Yeah. Well, it's just as exciting for us to watch. But uh, Kezu, any questions for me? Of course. Hey, Boxy. Uh, I know you're a player that you don't shy away from, I think, saying things how it is or arguments. And I know you guys are taking it a <coughs> bit more lightly. But uh, I would say your guys' series against Entity and D1 Hustlers wasn't very pretty. So even though you are taking it more chill, is there anything that you guys talked about, like that you still need to, I don't know, play more together in the early game, Camp Runes, mid game team fighting, stuff like that? Um, the D1 Hustler series, that was the first series I played. I don't think we talked after the entry series, because, you know, what can you do? First game after the major, and, and I wasn't there. And the D1 Hustler series, um, I mean, honestly, like, they had some good ideas. I think it showed how strong yeah. Klinks is to us. I think we, a lot of it, we kind of attributed to the drafts. Or mm -hmm. like heroes, we maybe need to prioritize differently. Um, playing more together in the early game is maybe something we've been working on for a year or so. Mm -hmm. uh, every time you play against gaming and there's three <laughs> yeah. people mid for 10 minutes straight, doesn't mean doesn't necessarily mean you need to cop it, but you learn to appreciate the, the what, do you, what do you call it? The toxicity of grouping mm -hmm. up like that early into the game. So to answer your question, nothing specific. I think mostly okay. draft related, but I think we also, because we're taking it easy, we're probably just happy. Just like you know, should have done of that course. better. At least you you brought up yeah. one or two points about the games, and then you can move on. You don't need to dwell into it that much. No, for sure. I mean, you guys have been also playing a lot better, and you most recent series and then my last question is you disassemble your boots for like 15 to 20 minutes we all know it's very good but do you ever get uh, bored of it like do you actually actively think about it or is it just muscle memory at this point you just um, keep doing it? the problem is not disassembling and and stuff it's that you or rather i don't have an issue with disassembling but i really don't want to have the goddamn tranquil boots because they're slower yeah. than normal boots for some reason. Like, <laughs> yes. Like I'd rather have run boots than tranquil boots unless I need the HP region, yeah. So the problem is to not get hit while you have them in your inventory, because then you can't mm -hmm. disassemble them again. So that's like the more annoying part. Um, I wish they would just make tranquils have the same base movement speed as run boots, because then I could Agreed. like, <laughs> I wouldn't have to do this anymore. And uh, and also they need to move the goddamn cell button further away from disassemble, because that. You know, whenever I'm in base, I keep selling my items. So, side note. <laughs> You're not the only one, so it's okay. Yeah, that's uh, a hard agree. I can yeah. agree with that one. <laughs> yeah. uh, that's, uh, thanks for the answers. That's that's all I got. Did you have anything else, Lizard? No, I'm good. Yeah. All yeah. right. Well, we'll let you go, <laughs> Boxy. Else. Thank you so much. Nothing else. Unless you, <laughs> want, you, unless you have anything you want to add. <laughs> no, no uh, yeah. further Do you want to no ask further some questions? questions? Sorry, I'll be okay. more fun all right. next, He's done. next interview. That'll be more fun. How are you guys? No, look, you guys enjoying we the casting the games? Are you guys practicing between the casts? No, no I mean, no I'm time. spam at a bunch of pubs. I mean, when I'm off the yeah. work day, yeah, but now can't. No. Yeah, can't. Looking at your, your, your heroes spamming some, stealing some, it's working well. Very good. Very good. I'd love to cast Thank your you for the games question. someday. Yeah. Not. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, someday. thanks for the interview. Uh, Peace out. <laughs> Have no. a good one. Thank you, Boxy. <laughs> Thank you, Boxy. All right, bye. Enjoy the rest of your night.